वेलकम एवरी वन टू लेसन नंबर वन पार्ट फोर ऑफ डीप लर्निंग कोर्स एंड इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट क्लासीफिकेशन मॉडल अ जनरल व्यू ऑफ द कोड एंड इट्स कम्पोनेंट एंड वी विल सी वट आर द रिसोर्स अवेलेबल टू आस टू मॉडिफाई द मॉडिफाई द कोड विद फास्ट ए आई एंड वी विल सी हाउ वी विल सी द प्रॉब्लम अबाउट सेगमेंटेशन मॉडल so highlights as i said in the previous videos as well in this course we are um, uh, this course is uh, we are remaking fast ai course practical deep learning 2022 and the original link is over here and this one is the part 4 of original lesson number 1 of this course uh, course practical deep learning i would suggest everyone to have a look to uh, link number 13 and 14 and i have provided notes as well of this lecture in google drive link and uh, the link number 1 in the resource section uh, you can you can go uh, will take you to google drive link and also i would suggest everyone to have a look to link number 7 and 8 and this is the outline these are the topics sub topics of this lecture we are going to learn about how uh, image downloading function works uh, we will see what is the batching in data set and yeah this kind of stuff we will learn about the functions in details and this is the resource section and this is a drive link for you to download the notes and uh, if you want to download this slide and this is uh, Uh, link number thirteen and fourteen. We we will use these links in in uh, during the lecture, and this these are the resources which is available to us to see the documentation how to modify the the original code. Uh, we will see over here. So if you want to, for example, modify the classification model, you can go to this link to see uh, what are uh, resources available to us and how you can modify these things. so let me take you to the notes which i have prepared for you okay so the first topic we are discussing over here is about uh bird versus not bird classification system and the first thing i am going to discuss with you is about pip install minus uqq fast ai fast ai is the library name and minus uqq means like uh when whenever you are using for example uh, you are starting a notebook in a cloud server you have to uh, write minus uqq which means like upgrade this library for me so i have written a uh, description over here so cloud server notebooks are not used by us so we need to upgrade the libraries every time so this is the syntax this is the way how you can upgrade the library another thing i would suggest everyone to have a look about the internet so make sure your internet is turned on and you are using gpu as well uh when, whenever you are using kaggle notebook and make sure the version is is the new one another thing is uh without phone verification you cannot run kaggle notebooks so i will show you right now so if i will go to my macbook and i will type kaggle.com first of all i would check if my phone is verified or not so you can have a look over here my phone has been verified and the next thing is if i am going to jeremy howard notebook and the notebook is is it upward so how you can do it you do that j howard you can type j howard notebooks over here and here you can search this notebook is it uh is it is it a bird for example so is it a bird so 
we are in this notebook and i would suggest everyone to upvote this notebook and you can click over here edit my copy make sure you have selected one of the gpu gpu t4 x2 or gpu p100 and the next thing is make sure you are you have turned on the internet so this is the cell number one my uh, exc exclamation mark pip install minus uqq fast ai so this is the library name and minus uqq means you are upgrading that library so when i will run it the session will be started it means like uh, kaggle has created a virtual computer for you so this is the small version to check if you are if you have set up uh, the notebook to run the application next thing let's have a quick review of what notebooks are so i would suggest everyone to go uh, not uh, lesson number zero to see uh, uh, how to run this notebook and you can see uh, the code uh, explanation in details and so another thing is we are using in this course python language so because python is very concise language you don't need to learn a lot about the language about the syntax so it is very it is a kind of simple language and with the fast ai libraries it is it is more con convenient uh, if you want to uh, run the applications related to artificial intelligence and sometimes we are using external libraries as well so to use external library what you need to do is you have to write import so for example so there is a fast library which is fast with some text so fast download from this module we are importing a library which is called download url and fast ai provide a lot of libraries which generally start with fast and some text over here for example fast download and another thing is there is in this particular cell what we are doing is we are downloading urls of bird and we are saving the url in bird.jpg file so url number zero at zeroth position has been saved in destination uh, which is bird.jpg file another thing is with fast.ai we are importing all the all the models uh, all the modules inside that library and in this module we are passing this image here destination here to open that image and which with image dot to thumb which which means that uh, i want to see that image uh, in a notebook so this this function is used to see the image so download url is kind of function used to download images from the internet another thing is to make a classifier we need two different images for example bird or not bird image and in our case uh, we chose um, not uh, the kind of images which are forest as a not bird image so you but you can choose any for example you want uh, if you want to use dragon image if you want to use house image you can choose any type of image and there is an example over here uh, when we run this cell we have seen the bird.jpg image like this over here it's a kind of it means a kind of thumbnail so so the next thing which is very important here is we are going to learn about 
how we can download the data set how downloading works in fast ai so there is a downloading function which is used to download the images used to download urls from the internet and with the fast ai it works a uh, little faster because it works in a parallel way and we also have a resize function so let's have a look over here so here we have a downloading images which takes uh, a destination which is kind of um, where to put the, the images and the URL searches images it will search images for you so you can specify any kind of uh, keyword over here to download and there is another thing which is very important is resize images and there is a max size which means that I am resizing each image which I am downloading so 400 means that the height of that image would be uh, 400 pixel and height of uh, and the width of that image would be 400 pixel so this is a resizing function so uh, another question which can arise up is about why we are using resize function so resize function we are using is because uh, gpus are so quick in processing the images and if I want to train my neural network in a very less time then I should resize my data set because GPU takes a lot of time to open a neural network actually takes a lot of time to open the images so I want to provide a less memory for a GPU to train so that is a that is a kind of reason and another which is very very important thing without this you cannot learn deep learning uh, course which is data block the reason is like you need to understand how you can shape your data set to feed into the model so that is the that is a thing so if i want to make a classifier how you can format your model to feed into the model how, how you can format your data set to feed into the model so we don't need to spend our time in understanding the neural network architecture uh, what are like gradients and these kind of stuff we, we we would like to see the things which are practically important in the industry so we uh, so the reason is deep learning community in the recent years found that there are like small number of types of models that work for nearly all main applications required in required in deep learning with fast ai these models are already created for you so that's that is the reason you don't need to learn about uh, deep learning model although we will learn about how to tweak the neural network to to make it perform better same as like for example if you go to the industry you will not learn about how operating system works how windows work how mac operating system works you will learn about how software works so you will you will gonna see what what kind of things which are like practically important for you so we are doing the same thing here so we have to learn about how we can design a data block to design a data block we need to analyze the project requirement first of all and the make data into the right shape the next thing is here for our project there are five things which are really important and you have to provide this for uh, almost creating all kind of deep learning application for example segmentation model if you want to create if you want to create a recommendation system so these five things are really important to provide so first thing is in our case this is the first thing and this means like uh, my data set has an input which is kind of image and I have this image image could have the two possibilities for example in my case it could be either a bird or it could be either um, a forest so number of possibilities in this case are two in my case so output could be one or output could, could be zero zero means this is the bird image one means this is a forest image for example and the get image the second thing is get items so what get items means that where to look the data for training so it calls get image files which return all the images in a current path we are having 
and it could be it could have a extension dot jpg or dot png so i would suggest everyone to make uh, i think for a model it is very important to have a same extension of of image and the next thing is splitter without this you cannot train your model so what random splitter does so you have provided all the data set and what i am doing is i am splitting that data into two things one is one data is for training and one data is for testing purpose uh, in our case it is called validation so what i'm doing is so i am splitting 20 percent of the data to the validation set and 80 percent of the data to uh, training purpose so random splitter randomly takes images uh, like 20 percent images and put it aside get y is another function which is used to label those images so for example um, i have image uh, 100 images in a directory in a folder which is named bird so I have a folder name which is a bird and it contains for example 200 or 300 images all 300 images will be assigned a label which is a bird because it is in a directory a parent directory of this one is a bird so this function do this kind of do this this stuff this kind of stuff I will show you, show you the practical example and another thing which is very important is about item transform and data loaders we will learn about this here so item transforms goes to each item of the data set and transform it so if you have specified like I want to transform uh, I want to have a resize uh, I want to resize each item so you can specify the pixels so in my case it, it is 192 and you can specify the method which is in my case is a squish method squish means like I'm not I don't want to crop the image I just want to squish way to resize the image another thing is uh, another thing which is uh, data loaders and it takes a path my current working directory path what is happening so data loaders actually using GPU uh, in a PyTorch so to grab the bunch of data at a time so how data loader does it 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 takes it grabs the images from the hardware uh, where it is stored and in a parallel fashion it grabs thousands of the image images at once so that that is why it is so fast using PyTorch library we are able to do it to do this and data loader feeds the model bunch of the images at once and it performs the mini batching as well so what mini batches are so for example i will give you one example for example if you have 100 images and if i want to if i don't want to process 100 images at once what i can do is one possible solu solution is i can divide those 100 images into the chunks so for example i can process 20 images at once so i divide 100 images and each batch contains 20 images in that case i can process uh, the whole images the whole uh, 100 images in five batches so each batch is called mini batch and in our case because the label function is a parent folder name and uh, here there is an example so dls dot show what does it mean so i want to see my randomly selected a batch and i want to see maximum number of images which are six in my case for example in this case i have six images and in this case i have bird bird forest and there are like three forest and three birds in that case so i will show you the practical example now in my backbook as well so this is my notebook and I have run these cells as well you can run these cells uh, you can even download and you can run 
these cells so for example if I talk about we have talked about this one so let me start with this so here I have download URL which is external library and this is a fast download module a fast library is importing a, an external library and I am downloading URLs in this case and I'm storing this image in bird.jpg which is here and you can specify any name like you, you can call it bird1, bird2, bird3 you can specify any name and uh, you can see the thumbnail of that image as well so I have modified it to 356 to 356 pixels so I can see that image in that way okay and this function is searching the images so first thing is I'm searching the image searching through the internet with the keyword bird photos and after downloading uh, this URL I am storing I am downloading this image to, um, to my local directory so if I, I would click on this I can see this is the same URL contains this image and the next thing is because I want to make bird versus not bird classification system so I am downloading a forest for photos as well in my case you can download either house you can download either, either dragon images so I can have a look in that way so with this cell so I'm downloading the URL and I'm saving in the forest.jpg which is here and I'm looking to that image so this cell is used to create a data set and for example this set is creating bird or not a directory which contains further two directories and in these two directories I can have a lot of images so which uh, which depend on how you can specify how many images you want for example like in my case there are like a lot of images bunch of images inside the forest and in the same case I have a bird which contains a lot of photos so this cell is used to uh, unlink, unlink those images which are corrupted and let's uh, let me give you the practical example about cat y parallel label so this is a data block so get y parallel label is so I'm going to this path and this path contains a lot of images and the parent directory of this path is forest so uh, so what this function does this function assign all the images inside this this folder and I'm assigning all the images inside this path a label forest which is same in my case is in the bird as well and this is item transform which is used to resize those photos and I am looking to the images in the form of patches as well in my case uh, there are like five bird images and one forest images one forest image so the last part of this lecture is about how to customize the models how, what are the functions available to us for example kind of label functions um, in our case it was parent label function but there are like different type of functions and how uh, we can have a look how we can customize according to the problem we are having so what resources are the, uh, are available to us so what I will do is I'll show you you have to go to this website docs.fast.ai and there is a section which is called tutorials here and if you further explore it there is a uh, beginner level tutorials there are intermediate level tutorial in our case I will go to data block tutorial which is intermediate level and this is the path and so to see uh, image classification system if I will expand the intermediate data block level tutorial and I will click here 
Pascal multilevel, which is kind of similar kind of problem for uh, what we have done right now. And if I will go there and I will see these are the kind of function, these are the ways to download uh, the data and the functions which are available. So in that way you can uh, learn about uh, different type of problems in deep learning and how we can solve it using fast.ai and if I want to customize data blocks you can do in that way you can go to the data in the same website and there is a block over here so these are the kind of classes which is available to us so let's have a look I will show you here I will go to docs.fast.ai and I will go here tutorials and this is intermediate level tutorials and this is a data block tutorial and here you can see hmm, different functions available to us for the different type of problems for example image classification problem this is a small tutorial available to us how to classify the images so this documentation is really really helpful for you for any kind of problem any kind of classification system a segmentation problem Another thing which is which I talked about to you is data. So there is a so you can click here and there is a data block here. In this data block there are different type of problems, transformer type data block, multi category type data block, category data block with the different uh, parameters. And this this one which we have used in bird versus not bird classification system so you can you can read this and you can customize your data blog you can customize the functions in that way okay let's go back to our okay so the next thing what I'm gonna uh, talk to you so we have prepared our data set a data block and we have uh, now we have to feed that data block to uh, a model a classification model so what we are doing here so we are passing a data set here a data block and the model name so I'm giving here the two things and the next thing is how I can evaluate my model so my metric is error rate in that case I'm using vision learner so which is used to classify the images learner is critical concept which combines model which is like kind of actual neural network and data and what we are passing two things data loaders object and the model so our model name is here is res residual neural network 18 which is here and the next thing here which is learn dot fine tune so let's have a look what what does it mean before this before before this I will uh, talk about TIMM dot fast dot AI so how uh, this is um, the kind of a documentation a, a wonderful wonderful kind of library which is integrated to fast.ai and it is developed by fast.ai uh, fast AI student uh, which is uh, cross and in this library this is the largest collection of computer vision models in the world fast.ai is the only one provides that integration and student has created its documentation as well you can have a look here you can uh, learn about computer vision uh, classification model or computer vision segmentation model here in this library and the next thing is 
how we can use this library so what you need to do is you have to go to the models and then you will go to the model ar architecture and there is a button which is called click which is here and there are like a lot of informations provided for each model so we are using dresnet model so i will show you right now so what you what you need to do is so these were like for example the kind of models available to us so model name this one model name this one after clicking you can go there and you can just copy paste the name of this model and you can paste it to learn uh, learner dot vision vision dot learner and you can replace resonate 18 with this with this one you can do that well I will show it to you right now in the form of tutorial let me go to my MacBook and let's have a look so T I M M dot fast dot AI so this is the library which has been integrated to fast AI and you can go to models and there are model architectures here and you can found the list of models in this website and these are the names of the models you can copy paste any model resnet 50 resnet uh, 18 and there are like a lot of stuff is going on what i will do is i will show you how you can use these models if I will click here so if you want to use the model you can just replace this one with any name over here and you are really lucky that fast AI has provided the integration for all of these models so that's why I was saying to you that you just need to focus about how you can prepare your data set so okay let's see what these things are doing these two lines are doing so let me explain it to you through my notes okay so when you run the cell the virtual computer has been provided to you through the kaggle and the reason why we can uh, uh, why when you run this cell why it will train so fast it is because this model is already trained for 1000 for classification for classifying 1000 different labels for example it it might be trained for cat dog it might be trained for human classification like different type house classification like so there this model is already capable of classifying different images and uh, that is why it is called pre-trained model and uh, this model has been used uh, has been uh, used to classify uh, as i said 1000 images uh, 1000 different labels but we have provided 1 million images to this model to train and that is why this model is because it is already trained and that is why it is fast and uh, you can see so this model is downloading uh, download.pytorch.org models and resnet 18.pth so it is what this thing is doing this thing is downloading uh, weights features which is already available to us online what these features are uh, these features are called weights which is available for everyone to download through pytorch library and fast ai uh, make it easy for you to download that and for you you can start the neural network that is comp uh, that is already capable of doing classification of different type of images 
and what we need to do is because we are classifying bird versus not bird classification system and we will take this pre-downloaded weights weights uh, in a very controlled way to teach the model the difference between our data set and the trained data set which is capable of classifying 1000 different type of images and so what happens as you can see in the first iteration in the epoch number zero which is called first I first iteration the error rate is 0 0.013 in the next iteration uh, the model adjusts itself to be 100% accurate so what is happening let's have a look so first downloading happens we downloaded pre weights uh, and after a few seconds it become 100% accurate so we have a learner which is fine tuned for the purpose of recognized bird versus forest classification system and the next thing is we we want to check so we want to test test it so we have a learn dot predict in, uh, for this purpose learn dot predict will take an image which is a bird and it will return us whether it is a bird or it is a forest the next thing is it is uh, an integer which is like zero means a bird one one means a not bird in the different forms it will deliver us a result in the form of probability as well so how much confidence i have in that particular image for example a model can say if it is a bird i have 90 percent confidence that this is a bird so this is like kind of so probability will be 0 0.9 so in the different way it deliver us a result so bird or not bird as a string it, re it returns result and that and the next thing is an integer zero means like as a sad um, bird or one means forest probability a confident that is how we will build a classifier if there is a bird or not in a computer vision system so image recognition models we we just discussed are not just for the images we can do a lot of stuff with this classification model i will show you one example so first of all let me show you this one so we have trained we have passed this data loader and we have trained this model crestnet which is uh, this model is used to classify the images and the next thing is we have run this cell to check if it is a bird so this is it is printing this is a bird or not so is bird will return me a bird yes this is a bird so our model is correct and probability if it is a bird so probability if it is a bird is 1.00 which is the answer of this one and that means it is 100% confident on that so the last thing as I said before that with the image classification model image recognition model we do a lot of other stuff as well so let me discuss with you about the segmentation problem so we take a photos for example in our case it is a street photo and we color each pixel so in our case blue as a fences brown as a car and red as a building so here if you can have a look so these are the target images target images which we have labeled and these are the predicted images by the model so what happens here so these are the building uh, pixels and these are the car, car pixel which is uh, kind of uh, brown and other like street with a different color so this is like kind of segmentation problem in which we don't have a label we have the whole pixels with the different colors specifying the different thing and our case of target and prediction on the left side we have a as i said the actual image which is colored by the human pixel by pixel and on the right side we have a prediction uh, most of the pixel are colored correctly and most of the pixel are wrong so for example if we see this one so 
these pixels these kind of pixels are colored in in an incorrect way by a deep learning model so why results are not perfect in that case in this case we have used less data first of all and less training and we have done around like 20 seconds of training so which is not i think like uh, for a problem like this we need a more time and more data to tr uh, to have more accurate results so uh, another thing is let's have a look to the code how we can train this model so the the code is very little so very little data required and little code required and there are like very few steps to train this kind of model so earlier we used data blocks in this case we are using kind of intermediate level approach so we can use uh, instead of special downloader special class of downloader to uh, classify to uh, to make this kind of to run this application and to make this kind of model so to shape this kind of model actually uh, shape this kind of data set sorry so well so let's have a look we have a segmentation data downloader which which is a special class of um, data data loaders and in this class we are passing the path of images we are having and the path of label images as well so we are providing the actual images and the labels which are in the form of images as well and so in this case uh, it is returning the file names and the batch size which is 8 in that case so uh, if you remember like we discussed about the mini batches and here we have code.txt file which is like what does each pixel in the image means and we are using unet learner remember in the in the previous problem we used vision learner but in this case we are using unet um, and we have fine-tuned this to the eighth iterations so this is about segmentation and uh, I discussed you about let let me discuss in details about the parameters here let me read it for you so we usually pass pretty similar things we passed uh, in the data block here so we added file names scrapped with the function get files names uh, in our previous uh, in our previous data block we were having a get file names but in that case in this case we are giving a direct path of the images and the label function as well so which is uh, other images and the code the code.txt file grab the code of each pixel and we have trained we have used unit models and fine-tuned it and steps are like kind of quite same what we have done in image classification model and this is quite same in in regarding seg segmentation model and image recognition model so if you will see over here so it is pretty same with the classification model so we have passed data set here and we have passed the model here and we have fine-tuned it so this is kind of very simple way to do it so this is all about lesson number one part four and let's see you in the lesson number one part five which is the last part of lesson number one so see you after have a nice day